you guys. My name is Randy and welcome to my very first video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make treats for your dog using very healthy ingredients. So come with me and let's get started. These are the ingredients I will be using. Whole wheat flour, kale, an egg, some beef. I have some of this canned dog food blending cup to blend the meat together as gross as that sounds. So first, I'm gonna spray my pan, some non-stick cooking spray, and put it on a medium heat. Our pan is nice and hot. Start with the beef. Let's start sizzling. Drop some kale in there. Running through our cold, it's best to not feel sorry when it's over. bring out the beefy flavors a little bit. Then I'm gonna grab my egg and just crack it in a bowl. Lightly as the recipe calls for. Eh, that's good enough. And then, because I am following a recipe, and I'm just gonna measure out about a cup of whole wheat flour. And then a quarter of a cup of water. We'll add this in after. Just get it set up and ready to go. Some olive oil that I will grab in a second. Just starting to get nice and brown. Almost done. Mm, this one's so good. This is done, so I'm gonna shut this off and set it aside. Let it cool for a couple of minutes. Now that this has cooled off a little bit. So I am going to use this dog food that I have. Let's scrape it on in there. Pop the lid on this. We're gonna blend it. Mm. My blender does not like this. Oh, it needs a little bit of water. Actually, that doesn't look bad. Okay, I'm gonna thin it up. Probably because I do things like this all the time. If you don't believe I do things like that all the time, just wait. There will be more videos to come. This does look pretty good, so I'm just gonna roll with it and I'm gonna grab my. It says to add an egg and some oil. Give it a tablespoon. A quarter of a cup of water. And now we mix. Mix, 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 mix. It's gonna make a dough. And then I'm just gonna scrape this out. Try to get as much of it as you can that you don't waste it. And I'm also gonna scrape this. And then, once we've scraped it, we're just gonna mix this all into our dough. You can use a fork, but me being me, I'm just gonna get on in there. We're just gonna incorporate it. It is a little sticky, but it's not too bad. I've wiped this down already before. I don't know if you can see the mess, but I wiped it down before I started this video. It's clean, it's just, I messed it up when I was mixing the dough. So this is just dough, so I'm just gonna 
lightly flour a surface. That way we can knead this. And we're just gonna take our dough and incorporate more flour. And it's gonna stick a little bit, but we just add a little bit more flour. <laughs> It is sticky a little bit. Maybe a lot more than a little bit. I think I had this issue the last time I made these. This is my second time making these, to be honest, but my dogs really loved them the first time. So I'm gonna make them again, because they haven't had them in a while. I was really bored during the first month of quarantine, and so I decided to look up how to make dog treats for my dog. So I learned a new skill, which I'm super proud about. But it was also rewarding. Not just for myself, but for my puppies too. I need more flour. Mm. Hey, my love. Yeah. Can you come put more flour down <laughs> for me, please? Just get on, get on this side. That side? Yeah. Flour down for you. Yeah, just please, because it's sticking to my fingers. Well, how much am I putting down? Just lightly sprinkle. No, 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 with your hands. Oh. Just let me sprinkle, just go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And a little bit around, around, around. Yay, that's perfect, okay, thank you. Oh no, it's just sticking to everything. It's, it's okay. So gonna come out amazing, amazing. It'll be delicious. Okay, that's perfect dough. It's a perfect dough ball. Let's grab a rolling pin. I don't actually have one. So, I'm gonna use this. It's pretty sturdy. It looks like a paper towel tube. Kind of is, but it's thicker than a normal paper towel tube. And it works perfect for rolling out some dough. So I'm just gonna roll it out. Roll it out. And also while I've been doing this, the oven has been preheating. So once the dough is all rolled out, you can cut these however you want to. They're nothing fancy. But then you can cut them however big or small you want to. About the size of like a little gum. But the good thing about making your own trees is you can form them into whatever shapes you want to. It's so fun with them. I cut off all the sides and then with that plastic knife and then I realized I had a pizza cutter. I just cut these into strips like this. And then I'll do this. And then I'll just cut it like this. Okay, and then we're gonna go over here and pop these into the oven for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes is up, so we're gonna pull these on out. Just be careful. Oh, that's foggy. Okay, and now that these are nice and cool, I'm just gonna get them in our jar. Yay! I'm gonna cook up the rest of this and show you how much my dog actually likes them. Things don't go to plan, I kinda lose my mind I hope it's real This life comes around Just keep your faith And search for the fountain Time is of the essence The blood running through our core It's best to not feel sorry when it's over I will be the greatest that you ever
that's it for the video, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, if you try this at home, your dogs like them. Let me know down below, and I will see you next time.